All right, so uh, YouTube, I believe, let me get this lighting right. Oh my goodness. Uh, YouTube has uh, reinstated my, uh, actually, I haven't reinstated. I've actually had to re apply for AdSense. Uh, they deleted my AdSense account and uh, they told, they didn't tell me anything, they just deleted it. And uh, when I did find the uh, email, it was in my Gmail account, which I very rarely go to, uh, they said, hey, uh, um, yeah, they didn't say anything. I sent them a message, they didn't reply. I went to the AdSense page, I re-signed up for AdSense. Uh, turns out that I'm actually going to get a little more money from them, uh, a more percentage. Now, it doesn't mean I'm going to get more money, but uh, there's a higher percentage that I will be getting, which is nice. And the uh, uh, I will no longer be partnered with Full Screen because Full Screen, um, I don't know, I'm just going to see how Google AdSense is going to do. Full Screen didn't do what they were supposed to do, so I won't go back with them. And I know that some of the some of the companies that, uh, or some of the channels that were partnered with full screen actually went, they died. And uh, I had the opposite effect, but I didn't grow nearly as fast as I'd like to because full screen didn't do their job. So I'm hoping that this is gonna be a good thing. Um, the advertisers that left Google never advertised on my channel anyway. So it's no skin off my ass. I was always in the minority side of it. You know, I'm not Philip DeFranco or any of those guys who are making millions of dollars a year. Or even the, uh, what's his name? Uh, yeah, um, Shea Tards. Shea Carl. Shea Carl was making millions of dollars a year. I mean, four million dollars a year on YouTube. And he was getting great advertising, which I didn't get those great advertisers. I got good advertisers, you know, but not great. Uh, so, anyways, I don't think that that ever was going to be a factor in my channel. The uh, as far as the advertisers that pulled their advertising from YouTube, because I never had those Coca-Cola, Pepsi. I never saw a Coca-Cola or Pepsi commercial. Um, uh, J.P. Morgan Chase Company. I mean, that's like a large conglomerate bank. I never saw them on my on my channel either. Uh, so, uh, you know, I'm just glad that I can be back, you know, back to making the money that I was losing. Um, out of all of my videos, and this is how good of a YouTuber I am, and I mean, I, you know, I'm patting myself on the back here a little bit. Out of all of my videos, after they went through their, uh, what, after their computer went through my channel, they found four videos that were unacceptable for ads. Out of 1,620, or yeah, 1,626 videos, only four were not monetizable. Well, hell, that's great news, right? You know, and I'm not even going to dispute them uh, because it's titles. They picked out titles that were possibly controversial, like my 9/11 story, you know, and steroids for breakfast, uh, that sort of thing. So. That's fine, because there was about 200 videos that I had not monetized that got monetized today. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, keep checking them out, and, uh, you know, I'm here to stay. I'm here for the long haul. So thanks again, guys. Thanks for watching. You can always comment, rate, and subscribe. I'd ask you nicer, like, by saying please, but, you know, people get tired of hearing that, too. So thanks again. And everything's resolved, I hope. We'll see in a couple of days to see if the revenue comes up again, but who knows. We'll find out. I'm still making videos.